Mike Bond here at King's MMA with Marvin Vittori, who fights Robert Whitaker September 3rd, man. We're about a little over two months out. I know you're back in the States now. Is this like the official start of training camp now? Yeah, but to be honest, I never really stopped. Even when I was in Italy, I was training like twice a day. You know, like it's a lifestyle for me. It's never like camps or like, you know, preparing a fight and then stopping. I'm training. It's, it really became about becoming the best version of myself. So, you know, like, yeah, like camps is about like, you know, like I'll, I'll I'll keep my schedule super tight, but in terms of like loads of training, it's pretty much the same thing, you know. Is it fair to say when you get here though, the intensity picks up a little bit more? Yeah, and it's not really too much about intensity. It's about like everything is scheduled to the T. You know, everything is like uh, everything has a like me well before maybe it's like general improvement. Maybe now then it shapes more into like preparing for for my opponent. You know, but um, yeah, overall it's. Overall, it's similar. Like I don't really feel like a massive switch from like outside of camp to camp, you know. But it is what it is. I'm 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 gonna be I'm gonna be super prepared. That's all that all that matter. Yeah. And how frustrating to you was the delay? I mean, I was just in Singapore a few weeks ago. Rob was there, you know, talking to the fans, and so many people came up, being like, the whole reason I bought tickets to this fight was to see you and Marvin. And there was a lot of disappointment. Um, did you get past it pretty quick when so they gave you a new date and everything? It is what it is, you know. Like I've seen it all in this game, to be honest. Like. Out of my last nine fights, I think eight fights have been rescheduled, cancelled, or like change of opponents. So I've seen it pretty much all, and uh, just a, just another adjustment. And you know, of course, I would have wanted to fight, but it is what it is. You know, like I can't let it get to my mind. It's another, I have another date. I'll be ready. I'll be winning, and uh, that's it. Yeah, and you fight in Paris now. That's like the first time I've gone there. It's been such a, a long road for the UFC to get a show there. Are you excited to fight in Paris? What do you think of you know France? Oh, absolutely, man! Like it's my first time in Europe, and uh, just myself. Like people almost bought like a, a thousand tickets. People that I know that have bought tickets. So, just my people are probably gonna be like just people that I'm bringing is about like a thousand people. Then all the other supporters from all over the world, like they, they text me every day. I really feel like I am the main event. I wanted to be the main event. I think I am the main event of that fight, but. You know, Tuvasa and and and, and Cyril Gain is a is a great fight too. So, um, but yeah, man, that's a nice fight. I, Robert Whitaker, it's it's a it's a guy that I wanted on my record for a long for a very long time, and I want a I want a green a green uh, color next to next to next to his name. So, and my name in in uh, in, in my record. So, um, yeah, man, I'm very excited, and uh, I hope no more bullshit. He shows up. I'm really excited, and uh, yeah, man, let, let's conquer Paris. Yeah, and Rob's looked obviously very good. You know, the only people he's really losing to is Izzy. Same with yourself. Um, you know, what do you kind of just make of his skill set right now at the moment? And, uh, you know, how what do you expect out of him in this fight? I think Whitaker, like you know, I think Rubber now, like you know, he got a close. He, he it was a close fight with Israel, and uh, he thinks that now he can get back on uh, on track and maybe get another shot and win. But man, like nobody's hungry as I am, and people know it. And like. I'm, I really feel like it's it's Vittori 3.0, 3 the the one that you guys are gonna see against Whitaker because uh, all this year like I've been working. It's not that I've you know I haven't been fighting, but I've been working. And you guys are gonna see another version of myself like you always see in every fight. So but this one I really feel like uh like like I, like I hit a milestone and I and I and I and I hit the switch and a lot of things. And so I'm going in for the finish and um, I'm really excited about it and. I don't think Whitaker can do much. You've been getting the five rounders in lately, and you go back to three for this one. Does that allow you to change your pacing at all? Like allow you to put even more pressure and output in this fight? Yeah, I mean, I, I was asking for the five rounds. I was asking for the five rounds, even though it's a co-main. Um, I didn't hear much. I didn't hear anything back, but I wanted a five rounder just because I feel like on the five round the skills comes out more. You know, you go. There's more time to study. There's more time to get a feel of your opponent. Meanwhile, the three rounds is more like. Three rounds, you can you can get away with way more mistakes and maybe like you know, um, still still make it to the end. So um, it is what it is, you know. You great fighter, no matter the circumstances, no matter the rules, the rule set, you need to be able to adjust. So I'll be I'll be adjusting and. Uh, and again, I'll be coming out victorious. And obviously, some you know, big buds coming up for the middleweight division. Big week. We have UFC 276 this weekend. Izzy defending the title against Jared Cannonier. Uh, what do you think about this fight? How do you think it goes? Uh, we'll see. I mean, Cannonier would have to just uh, don't bite into any bullshit and just walk him down and and and, and land big shots. But but Adesanya is game on that sense. You know, he's been there with a lot of big puncher and. 
if it finds a hole, it'll, uh, it'll be a hard day for 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 counting you. But we'll see. I, I don't know, man. I it is what it is. I'll eventually I want to beat them both. Like so. <laughs> So it's okay. We'll see. We'll see. I think we're, I, I think uh, Adesanya will come out uh, with the window. Yeah, I was going to ask you, you know, do you kind of want to see Izzy continuing to hold that belt? Because I'm sure you want to be the one to dethrone him. You want to get that fight back. When it does happen a third time, I'm sure you want it to be for a title. Um, it will happen no matter what, you know. I'll, 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 I'll get my wins against Adesanya before, before, my, before I'm over with, the, with MMA. Because unless, unless, he, unless he walks away before. Uh, but um, I feel like I'm the real, I'm the only real challenge to him. And uh, every every time I, I I do fight him, like he edged the win in the, in the last fight. But I mean, came out unskated, couldn't really hurt me, no no one single time. It it, it, it it was a lack of experience on my side. But yeah, I mean, for sure, for sure, I wanna I want my win against him. Kanye is another legit contender. Eventually, I wanna fight him too. You know, like I'm not hard to please in terms of opponent. You guys know that. So. Um, We'll see. Yeah, I mean, you know, a lot of people say, "Oh, if Kanye wins, then uh, but if Kanye wins, then you get a shot." Because if Israel wins, not, not many people want to see a third fight. But to be honest, if I go out and just like demolish Whitaker, then I, I feel like the hype train is going to be hot again, and uh, they'll, they'll want it to see again. And, and that's that's what I'm looking forward to do. Because, like I said, it's going to be Vittori 3.0. What do you think of the Sean Strickland Alex Pahea fight? A lot of people kind of circling that one. Maybe the winner gets the title shot, especially if Pahea wins, given his history with Izzy. Um, yeah, I, I heard they promised them a, a title shot, whoever wins. So I know the one, you know, like Pereira, like it, it's new to MMA, but it, that, like he's, he's kind of like on his, like, I mean, he's just kind of old, you know, so I guess they want to give him a, a shot. If, if Strickland wins, he's been in the game for a long time. You know, we've been training together for a long time, so if he gets a shot, you know, I'll, I'll be happy to see too. And so um, that's it, man. Like, I mean, let them get it, you know. Yeah, and lastly, uh, this Luke Rockhold versus Paulo Costa fight. I was, you know, actually at the other gym uh, the other day and saw Luke, and he said, you know, I think I'm the only one who can beat Izzy in this division, and uh, very confident going into that one. But uh, obviously, this fight's already been delayed with Paulo. You got the full experience of all that. Uh, if it happens, how do you think it goes? I'm gonna tell you this: Luke is a pussy, bro. That's that's all that is, that, you, that you guys need to know. Luke is a pussy, but but I'm gonna give you this: like he wanted the fight with 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 Paolo, and Paolo's been bitching out. I don't think Paolo can make 185 anymore. Um, but yeah, man, Luke is a bitch. That's 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 all you guys need to know, to be honest. You guys have a history or something, or just in general don't like. He's been talking. He's just even though I don't know him, I know him. I saw him one time at the gym. I said, "Let's spar." You've been talking shit, kind of like you know. And he's like, "Oh no, now I'm getting ready this and that." It is what it is, you know. Like it's. <laughs> he's uh he likes to talk he's been on and off i don't know like he's probably broke by now he want to make some money uh you know he was a champ for one time and i guess we got to give him that but other than that like i don't i don't make much out of him you know like it's it is what it is but more than everything he's a pussy <laughs> I feel like you're still holding back, but I'll leave it at that. Uh, are you going to go to Vegas for the fight this weekend, or do you yeah, want to be yeah, there? Yeah. I'll, I'll be there. I'll be there. I'll be there. 